Hello, today we are going to learn about what is dialogue flow and how the dialogue flow UI looks like and also so what are the basic things were included in dialogue flow this is all we are going to learn so if you are visiting my channel for the first time please do subscribe okay let's start our topic if you want to work on any chart but if you want to develop any chart but or using a google dialog flow then uh, just uh, go to this url dialog flow dot cloud dot google dot com okay so just click on that if you already logged in by using a gmail or then it will uh, take uh, that may our account uh, automatically it will open the uh, starting page if you are not logged in then it will ask for your uh, mail id i mean uh, google sign in credentials then you need to enter the credentials after that it will open like this okay see uh, right now we have two things were there uh, dialog flow cx and dialog flow essentials i mean dialog flow yes okay so right now whatever we are looking here is that uh, dialog flow essentials we'll see later on uh, about dialog flow cx ui how it looks like okay so as of now i'm just dismissing it you see this is a like um, dialog flow essentials ui so here uh, if you want to talk mainly about agent we have to create an agent to, so which agent you are going to create right now see okay so if you have any agents already created you can select it uh, here otherwise you just um, uh, create a new agent name okay just uh, uh, I'm creating hotling okay just create the agent this is all if you want to change the time zone and language you just can you can change otherwise just keep it like that okay uh, now I'm creating a new agent okay hotling okay so and these what are the intents entities fulfillment section these all we are going to see one by one okay so it will just take a few seconds to create a new agent just let's wait okay it's done if you see here uh, see here our agent have selected okay if you uh, want to see intents entities what does it mean all if you see here what is intent intent means what exactly the customer wants to say uh, what is the customer intention what uh, he exactly wants that is called intent okay so you if you see by default uh, we have a default welcome intent and default fallback intent fallback fallback intent we'll see later on first if you see the default welcome intent how does it looks like okay uh, if you see here uh, we have a context and what is the input if you want to add you can just add okay uh, otherwise is just see this is like event event they have created welcome event so and this training phrases these are most important see training phrases means we are training the system uh, if user says uh, this particular word or uh, something like this I mean related to this word then what you want to give the uh, reply to them this always we need to train the system first of all we need to train the agent okay so for that you just give training phases like hi hello uh, whatever the application if you uh, use any chatbot then the initial message what we say like hello hi this one th these things only right so the same way these are the training phrases were there for the welcome intent and after that we have a parameters also if you want you can give parameters as well action and parameter okay and then if you see the responses so if the customer says a hello then what reply out of these any one it will pick and then it will give that particular reply okay after that you see here uh, we have another section called fulfillment section we will talk in detail uh, later on um, about fulfillment section but in general if what if we say what is meant by fulfillment okay so this section mainly used for if you want to access any data from other external applications then 
uh, you need to enable the web call for this intent okay uh, let's say if you want to get uh, some balance okay i want to get my account balance okay in that way uh, account balance will be there in the banking server right so it will go to the banking application and then it will pick up the amount after that uh, we will get the response right so and uh, if you want to uh, I mean um, interact with the external uh, applications then you need to use a fulfillment section this uh, how the exact operations will perform that we will see in the next video okay so this is exactly welcome intent okay and if you see uh, the next intent is fallback intent what is meant by fallback intent okay fallback intent means if you give any uh, wrong uh, like uh, uh, something which is not there in the system and which the uh, system can't try to understand the chatbot can't try to understand then uh, what reply it has to give okay so that all responses you need to give here okay that is default fallback intent which has a uh, I mean um, which has a training phrases I mean the responses they gave if you want you can create our external uh, I mean customized responses as well even for default fallback also we have a fulfillment section if any errors are there if you want to give error message from the server then the uh, fulfillment section will be useful for the fallback intent section okay so this is about the intents and then uh, if you just try to execute the what exactly uh, the chatbot does with the default things hello if I say just give enter then see here what intent we got default welcome intent called and then what response we got see here good day what can I do for you okay if you say hello again or hi whatever it may be okay so it is picking up this message and then it we are getting this response from the chat part okay so this is exactly uh, the I mean uh, our chatbot works uh, this is about only uh, basic things and uh, about entities and uh, fulfillments and integrations uh, these all we are going to see in the next video I hope you people understood well if you like this video please do like and subscribe to my channel uh, for getting more videos and latest updates thank you so much